Okay. I, I love this little latch. This is nice. You have just the Velcro. Yeah, and the, the ticket back here is really neat, too. I love some theater. Yeah, that was a happy accident. <laughs> Get well soon. All right. Dog on the cover. Couldn't be better. Well, that's why I put it there. <laughs> and, and all the envelopes. And these, this is an album of all the Get Well Soon cards that I got. The cover yep. cards. Yeah. This one was from, this must have been from uh, one of your, uh, one of your buddies online. Yeah. Is it, there were a lot of them that I got from that that are... Yeah, YouTube and uh, scrapbook.com. Yeah, these are probably scrapbooks since this is, looks like it was very custom made, but those really... Yeah, you can, yeah, you can pretty much tell who, who from uh, Facebook and who from scrapbook.com and uh, yeah. YouTube did it. They really... Sent which card. They really lifted me up when I was... Pretty low physically, so yeah, you weren't Very doing so hot, so yeah. everyone really jumped at the opportunity. So, yeah, I got that rundown feeling, <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, I kind of did. Yeah. One of your friends, Missy Lady 53. Mr. Hunter. Mr. Hunter was my dad. Is my dad? That's Mr. Hunter. I'm not that old yet. Oh, and this is nice. The flying. Oh yeah, she. That's from. Uh, her name is Corey, and it's spelled just like our Corey. Um, and she's in Canada. And that's neat. She's bought, neat these planes that land in the water right there. Yeah, she's bought at least one or two things from from me from Etsy or Zipit. So she's always really sweet to me. Yeah, and this is a real, really, really nice card. Really neat plane. It's like a boat on the bottom. It doesn't even yeah. the pontoons are here just to keep it from going under if it if it rocks a little bit. They use much smaller versions of that all over. Canada and Alaska, but there's no other way to get into some of these places just to land on the water. There, yeah. There are no. That one's, airports. I think, that's the one from uh, Betty Yagerman, I believe. Yes, it is. And she's she's been a great. She is. She has their, their prayer group. Um, I don't know if you've gotten the card yet, but they've. Yeah, it was. Front. She forgot to sign her name, but that's her prayer group. And they are Bible, really Bible study group. They've really been been warriors in, in prayer for me. Tony Alice Edison. Ticket to T C T C L E to Addison. It must have been one of your friends too. Oh, from Florence, South Carolina. Yes. Yeah, that, that's really, really nice. I'd ask you to put these together so I could have them to, to keep. Yeah, well, that's why you asked me to make do something with them so that you could have them organized better. I can't believe you just made these from scratch all by yourself. These albums. Yeah, just chipboard and. I had to duct tape some shipboard together because I didn't have any that was long enough, but... And here's volume two. Yeah, that's the... cards. Yeah, the larger sizes. And that's the one that came from uh, Mike, Carla, and Corey and Ellie. Oh, so yeah. I put that one in front because it's pretty yeah. and it's from family. Very pretty. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's still still lifts me up. Can't you keep these nearby so you look through them? And this is my friend uh, Joe. Her name is Joanna, but she goes by Joe. Dear sir, <laughs> well, she doesn't know you very well. I will know. This is really nice. 
And she's a good friend. I wasn't in much shape around Valentine's to do anything. It's getting better, a lot better than I have been. But that card is so Mr. pretty. Mr. Hunter from Anna from Miami, Florida. Anna Gr A.W. Griffin. She does really pretty stuff. I think she's from scrapbook.com, I believe. Gorgeous stuff. Or maybe well, not. I don't well know. Soon. Oh, I think that's from the, uh, Tom Cr the Craigies. Yeah. Noah yeah. Yeah. And little, little two-year-old Noah, he tried. He helped. He helped. <laughs> it looks like another craft yep. person uh, with a homemade card. Another scrapbooker there. Scrapbooker. Or crafter, whichever. Cheryl 54517. Sabilia. Deltona, Florida. Well, you have scrapbooker friends all over. Oh, I've got some. I've got a friend in uh, Australia that I talk to a lot. Usually when in the middle of the night and she's on and then in the middle of the day and she can't sleep. <laughs> so we talk a lot. <laughs> Joy D. Laughter is an instant vacation. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, it has, I think it has the joke on the inside where you pull the post-it. Yeah. Ready for your instant vacation? Here it goes. What kind of milk? comes from an, a forgettable cow. And then you have to pull the post-it off. Milk of amnesia. <laughs> uh, yes, you did. Made me laugh again. <laughs> Barbara Montagne. I don't know where. Yeah, and there's... This is from... There are... I assume it's a daughter, Sky. I can't tell these days that because they're naming, naming boys and girls Sky. Yeah, that's from Sky. Yeah, she drew Praying the bird, or he get, drew the bird. Praying to God that you will get better. That's so sweet. It is. West Warwick, Rhode Island. Well, not a lot of people from Rhode Island. There's another friend from. Yeah, Mom said that wasn't one of your cards, so that one probably needs to be ripped out. <laughs> yeah. And that's from Granton, Ohio. Granton, Ohio. Ohio. That's got to be that's either a coincidence or a Susan party and Susan. That has to. But be. there, there was no card with it. Yeah, that has to be. That has to be, uh, yeah, Marty and Susan. That's why I was so confused that there's no card. I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah, this. your mom's your mom's uh, stepbrother. Yeah. And his wife. I, I, I'm. I'm aware of my aunt and uncle. <laughs> She's met them a couple times. Was it Marty that used to pull down my pants, or was it pull, he pulled down Shanna's pants, or is it me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a toddler. There you go. All right. Well, thanks, Dad. I'm well, sure every I'm sure everyone's really gonna like seeing their cards used. So yeah. I appreciate it, and yeah, I, appreciate, I know you I appreciate, appreciate it. Very much. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And uh, as you can, as you heard, my dad was. Uh, very very touched by all the cards that everyone sent from uh, Facebook, scrapbook.com, and YouTube. So many of you, uh, if you're if you sent a card and it's not in here, don't worry, it's around here. We have it. Uh, he some he kept he's pretty good at organizing, but sometimes it's with all the medicine he takes, it, he forgets where he puts things. So. But the card, he asked me to do something with the cards. Um, he had them all put together with a rubber band. And he wanted me to do something where, I, where he could look through them and have them not, you know, fall all over the place. Uh, so I decided to, 
I, I knew from the beginning I was going to do a book, but I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do it. Uh, at the time, I did not have a bind at all, and I now do. And that's what I used, and actually ran into a problem not using enough wire on the bind at all, but it's okay. Uh, that's why I have the Velcro closures there. And basically what I did is I used... Um, I only have 8.5 by 11 cardstock or chipboard. I don't have the 12 inch and even so for this uh, bigger one behind, behind, that wouldn't have been big enough. I don't think, I think it, or maybe just barely. But so I would just cut the front and the back cover separately and then the spine and then use duct tape to, co to connect them and then cover it with paper so that you can't tell. And uh, this right here on the inside from where I covered the paper underneath uh, it actually has buckled so that's why I put this ribbon here <laughs> and I, the reason I have the velcro is because I didn't use enough binder rings and when you if you just left it like that it's it's uh, crooked so but if they are to be stored standing up um, I want them not to do that and they won't do that as long as you have the closure tied in nice nice and tightly and if you heard before me say that this was a happy accident this ticket here that my dad really likes it was uh, paper got, got ripped when uh, underneath the you know this paper got ripped from the velcro that didn't ha attach as tight as nice as uh, strongly as it needed to and I needed something so I just found that piece of ephemera and put it under there put it under there and so that's that's the one card book and then I knew I didn't have any binder rings that were big enough or any um, uh, a wire that was big enough for all the cards and also some of the cards were very large and some of them were um, much smaller, and I'm sorry, I'm not doing this with a with a tripod. Um, just very informal here. This one, I did the same thing using uh, chipboard and duct tape. And here, I just kind just kind of covered the paper. And this one is just a, a piece of sheer ribbon that goes under. And this is just a. Uh, I think it's a Hero Arts flower, which I just pulled off the Velcro. Oh, I need to get, get some my uh, score tape and then hot glue that glue that sucker on there. Um, so my main concern was keeping the Velcro together. So we've got the Velcro closure there, and then inside, you know, I liked it, the Great Southern because my family is originally from Kentucky. Uh, we moved to Indiana when I was three, and then we, we lived in Clarksville, just across the river from Louisville, Kentucky. And when I was six in 1993, we moved up to uh, central Indiana in the uh, Indianapolis suburbs, and that's where we've been, with the exception of two and a half years spent in uh, Mishawaka, South Bend, up uh, at the Michigan border. But anyway, so these are... These are just all the cards, and he wanted me to keep the envelopes so that he could, uh, if it wasn't signed, even if it even if it was signed, he wanted to have the the envelope included. So this is just what I came up with. It's very simple and it's not super creative, but it was something that my dad it really meant a lot to him to have these put together, and even more more so, it meant. He's gone through so much. It's I, I've, I've told you what he's gone through, but there's so much more that I haven't even begun to say that he's dealt with. And he he is he's my hero. He and my mom both. My you know my mom going through this with him. They've both just been shown an enormous amount of strength, and to deal with me and my issues that I have right now with anxiety and depression and panic attacks trying to trying to understand and handle all this they've both just they're outstanding parents and I couldn't ask for any any better and I really really appreciate every single one of you that has said a prayer or sent a thought or sent a card 
done anything um, for my dad. It, it means a lot to him to know that there are people out there that care about him that he doesn't even know. You know, he, he knows there's good in the world, but it's always nicer to know there's good in the world and then also have proof of it right in your hands. So thank you guys so much for your participation. And I'm sorry if your card did not get, uh, did not get, um, I'm sorry, losing, losing, can't find the word, get featured. Uh, it's, he did get it. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he did get it. He got a ton of cards and he was super, just totally touched by it. So thanks again, guys. Bye everyone.